Eddie Betts is next, and I must say the impact this guy's had at the club already is is phenomenal. Now I always knew he'd be a fan favorite when the rumors were there that we were going to get him back and he was going to come back. And I was a little hesitant at first because I was thinking about you know the age profile of the list. Do we really need a 33 year old? Yes, we needed a small forward, but you know Papley was on the table at the time and some other guys as well. And um, I must say I was completely wrong about the whole age profile thing because. What he provides to the club as a whole is so important. Um, we, whether you want to talk about uh, the marketing appeal and the kids and the energy he brings, and every time he gets the ball at training and does something, there's oohs and ahs from the crowd, and that electricity, it gravitates amongst the group. And I think we've got a nice young profile group that are really going to gravitate towards that energy. And so there's that. There's the whole Jack Martin situation, and I genuinely believe that one of the key reasons Jack Martin decided to come to Carlton was because of Eddie Betts. And I think he's going to hold that leadership mentor role for Jack Martin in good stead and allow Jack Martin to grow as a player. You know, Eddie Betts has done this before. He's done it with, with Jeffrey Garlett and, and Chris Yaron to an extent. And, you know, you look at, at Adelaide with Charlie Cameron, who really, you know, he took him under his wing. And so that's really what I see from Eddie this year. And the on-field stuff, I mean, for me, if he kicks us 20, 25 goals this season, that's fantastic. The one thing he still has, and I must say, when he was doing his first few sessions in uh, before Christmas, he was definitely not as fit as what he's ever been. And I remember there was a little exchange we had with him over the boundary where we turned around and said, hey, Eddie, how you doing? And he's like, oh, fucked. Um, you know, so he was obviously not in his best shape, but he's getting better at it. Uh, the one thing he definitely has, and I've seen it in every single time I've watched him in the match sim, is his ground level work. So whether it's Levi Casbolt bringing the ball to ground, we haven't had someone prolific to just swoop on that. And he's going to be able to do that, whether he's fit or not. And so that's something we haven't had. And that's probably something that's going to help us with the way that we judge guys like Levi Casbolt, Harry Mackay, even Mitch McGovern. So long as they bring the ball to ground, Eddie Betts is there to sweep up. And uh, that's the main thing I want to see from him this year. And the other underrated aspect of, of his impact at the club is the Next Gen Academy. And I think he's going to really spearhead that for years to come. You know, we know the standing that he holds in the, in the Indigenous community alongside just the football community in general. But for these Next Generation Academy kids, and maybe he can attract some more Indigenous boys who want to come and play and, and work alongside him, I think that's going to be very impactful. So I'm excited. I love having him back. Can't wait to see his first goal when he runs to the cheer squad and, and just gets the crowd excited in front of 80,000 fans. And hopefully he can kick a, a bag of three or four against the Tigers round one and just get this lid absolutely thrown away. So that's how I see it. What about you? Like I, I've noticed a, a bit of a divide in the opinion on Eddie and you know it was too old and people are talking about how he only or he kicked 12 goals against the Gold Coast last year. It was only two teams. And anyway, what do you think? Everyone's opinion's welcome.